Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters Welcome to another video on Ipsa Sign By the end of today's video inshallah You should be able to know how to add a drone outline to your image So let's jump right into it Okay here we got a new document Press Ctrl V to paste our image If you don't have a transparent image and you want to remove the background I'm going to pop a video on the top right corner of your screen So go to that video if you want to learn how to remove the background on your image And then come back to this video Okay now we got a transparent image here Select the layer and double click into the layer star panel and press on stroke and straight away this outlined our image perfectly and to add the glowing effect what we have to do is go down here to the outer glow and press ok and now it added a glow effect to the stroke you can mess around with it if you want you can change the opacity if you want I'm gonna put it on around 80 make sure the spread is on 1 and the size of the glow is up to your personal preference you can make it really big but i wouldn't really do that because it won't really look nice so i'm gonna put around between 50 and 100 should be okay i'm gonna put around 86 from contour you can leave it as it is range you can put it up or down but if you put it down too much you'll get like a blocky glow which is not really that nice so keep it high make sure your stroke is not too big because if it's really big like this well that's a bit too big if it's really big it won't really look really nice so keep it around obviously it depends on the size of your document but just eye it out i'm just gonna leave my one on eight eight is fine for me yeah okay press okay and straight away we got our glowing outline to our image if you want to add a glowing outline to a different part of the image for example let's say my t-shirt color right here press p to get the pen tool out and make sure you you don't have a fill and change your stroke to the color you want and make sure the size of the stroke is not too big like i said earlier okay i got my pen tool out and now i'm just gonna outline for the pen tool if you want to make a straight line all you have to do is just click and there we go if you want to make your line curvy click and hold and just move your cursor around if you mess up your line you just press ctrl z so you can undo your mistake there we go like i said earlier your show doesn't need to be that big and okay like we did before select on the layer you want to add the glow effect to double click to get this layer star panel let me zoom out and just go to outer glow since this is a tiny stroke you want to change the size of the glow so you want to close to the stroke because if you make it too big you won't be able to see it so i'm just going to keep it on 22 and put the opacity to 100 i'm going to show you another way to add a glow with the paintbrush later on and for this one you change the range of the glow to make it brighter just put it down a bit not too much or it'll just be a block of yellow just enough so it's like a nice glow like this and press ok and yeah that's it i'm going to show you another way how to do this effect just gonna take off the outer glow press ok get your paintbrush tool which is right here okay once you got your paintbrush go down here to make a new layer okay, now we're on the new layer make sure this is on 24 right here and you just go around your stroke like this i recommend not doing it all the way through do like little strokes so if you mess up when you press ctrl and z it won't it won't undo the whole thing just click and let go and there we go now on the layer we selected double click to get this panel out and add a color overlay and already is on yellow and you can change the color so like this this is really bright i'm gonna keep it as it was before make sure this is normal because if you change it to for example screen it just turns back into white just keep it on normal change your opacity if you want like that and press ok ok go up here and type out smudge tool and get it out and change the brush size to depends on how big or small you want it and keep the hardness around 8 and on the layer you can just smudge the glow effect so just smudge it around if you want blend it to your preference i mean to be honest already this looks good enough you don't need this but obviously if you want a glow outline to a different part of the image then that's up to you so you, if you want you can smudge the glow effect change the hardness of it like this make a stronger smudge I don't want this glow and outline around my color so I'm just gonna delete it. I like how it is already. 
and I'm going to make the background look better by adding particles. Just go to your internet browser, copy your image back onto Photopea, press Ctrl V like so. This is really big so I'm just going to decrease the size where there's enough particles into the image, something like this. Press OK and I'm going to go to the crop tool to crop the image. I'm going to keep it cropped like this. Make sure this is on deleted crop pixels so it's just a nice rectangle and press OK. There we go. And I'm going to keep this behind our image and I'm going to change the blending mode to screen. So it's like this. And then I'm going to add a blur by going to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm just going to leave it around 3. If you want to change the color of the particles, Select the layer with the particles, go down here and press new adjustment layer and go to hue and saturation and just change the hue to whatever color you want. Make it blue, pink, purple, red, green. Yeah, so that's how you change the color of the particles if you want. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something today. And I hope you guys have a good day. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.